Recapping the Luther men's tennis season with head coach Adam Strand and coach a couple weeks ago you had the conference tournament down at Co. Uh, Co ended up getting you in the uh, finals. You beat Central in the semifinals. What would you take away from the tournament experience this year? I thought it was a great tournament, Darren. Um, I thought our guys played pretty well for the most part. We were a little slow out of the gates in the morning um, against Central. Uh, but still found a way to, to win uh, close matches at one and at three to get the sweep and um, then got a couple singles wins, played pretty well on the singles court for the most part and uh, moved along to the final. Um, and then I thought we played some pretty good tennis against Co. We were um, within a couple points of potentially having a lead after doubles. Uh, we got a win at, at number three doubles again, a uh, win for Quinn Foley and Isaiah Mayercheck. Uh, neat for Quinn to go out uh, his final match at Luther with a win over Cohen doubles, uh, so that was pretty cool to see. And then uh, Kyle and Trent at two played really well and um, were serving at 6-4 and, and just not able to quite finish. The, the co guys stepped up and, and hit some big shots. and So we're down 2-1, but I thought our guys went out and um, played hard and, and you know really made Co earn those five points. And, and credit to them, they were the better team. And, um, you know, we've, we've got a lot to, to continue to work on, but I think our guys felt, even with a loss, felt pretty positive about how much they progressed throughout the, the spring. I, I don't think we would able to give them that type of match back in February that we just gave them a couple weeks ago, and uh, I think there's a bright future ahead for us. And uh, a lot of your guys getting all Iowa Conference recognition as well. Yeah, yeah, it was nice to see, um, you know, several of our guys uh, represented on that team, well-deserving. Uh, Kyle Apple, Trent Schneider, and then Sam Seacosh received honors in both singles and doubles, and uh, also Anders Jensen uh, received that honor in doubles. So yeah, well, well deserved by all of them. I think Sam is a senior, um, somebody who's been in and out of our doubles lineup, never really been in our singles lineup, and, and made a huge jump his senior year, and, and that was really awesome to see. Uh, you know, in a lot of ways, he was he was maybe the MVP or certainly the most important person on our team of just how he could step up and fill some of those roles high in the lineup and, and make it a little bit easier on some of the younger guys. Um, Kyle transitioned into the number one single spot really well, um, embraced that challenge, has been a ranked player in our region all year and really excited to have two more years uh, of him to go and I'm excited to see where he'll take his game next. And uh, he and Trent did really well in doubles. Um, they were a, a strong team for us when they were able to play together this spring and um, Trent as well at number two singles um, did a nice job. and. Um, then Anders really made big improvements for us on the doubles court. Um, he was kind of, you know, a little bit of a fish out of water in the fall at times, and um, started the spring at three doubles, and, and eventually ended up playing one doubles with Sam and played it very well. Um, maybe looked like our best doubles player on the team by the end of the year. So yeah, excited for all of those guys. And uh, you mentioned uh, you felt positive on the way you ended the season. Of the guys you got coming back, how hungry are they to uh, take that next step next season? I think they're very hungry, Darren. I, I think they saw that um, while Co has set a high standard in our league here in recent years, that we're really not too far off, and, and that you know if we play the way that we're capable of, um, you know, like we did, uh, you know, about ten days ago, we we gave them a run for their money, and then we made them earn it. Um, and I, I think our guys at the end were disappointed, but also uh, determined that that we're not too far off. And, and I think they recognize that there needs to be more work that has to take place this summer and fall and into next year. Um, but that's certainly going to be a goal for us again next year, um, as it is every year, to um, try and win our conference and advance to the national tournament. All right, uh, Coach, congrats on a solid finish to the campaign. And I usually take care of holidays at the end of this interview. So happy Memorial Day, 4th of July, Labor Day. We'll talk to you again in the fall. Thanks, Darren. Adam Strand talking Luther College men's tennis.